Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Tisa and it's so great to have you guys here. So I am here, I'm going to be looking into the next 24 to 48 hours or so, which is February the 29th and March the 1st, it's 2024. Now everything that you need to know about me is all right down below in our description box. Thank you for your love and your support. Take what resonates here, leave the rest, don't make something to hear, it's not the story. Happy birthday, lovely sign of Pisces. I really do hope that you enjoy your birthday. All right, let's see what we get right here. And this energy check right here that is for all the signs. Everyone's welcome here. Okay, let's see here. I do have discounted reads today, okay? So, um, if you'd like to get a reading, today is a great day to get it at this discounted price, okay? So, I'll put my text line right down below so you can text me if you're interested. All right, let's see what we have here. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Yeah, we're going to take it back. I used to do this read, this type of spread right here, all the time on um, Set Star, the other one. So let's see what we have here over here. What's the message here, please? This concern card. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, this concern card. Let's see what this energy check right here has for us today. And we have right here financial material changes right here. What's your message, please? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, and we have here. Positive movement forward. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. The crown chakra. Okay, dokie. At the bottom of the deck right here, discontentment and boredom. All right, so let's use this deck over here. And let me see if I can put this down here so you can see some. Okay, right there. Okay, okay, so financial material changes. All right, that's the five of pentacles. It's about feeling left out in the cold type of way. You know, somebody could be worried about it. They could be worried about um, being left out in the cold some type of way. They could be worried about um, um, being left out of financial situation here, not having enough. Let's see what's going on here. Somebody could have went to a pawn shop. I don't know. Look at this one right here. See how that hand down there? I don't know why. I feel like a pawn shop. I feel like a pawn shop. I feel like they could have pawned some jewelry or this one, the way the hand is like that. I feel like they, they're collecting money from somebody here. It could be a pawn shop. I don't know. Okay, what else here? Financial material changes. Yeah, the hanging man. I feel like somebody feels stuck financially in some way here. Okay, they could have thought about pawning something, I feel, for some people here. Okay, yeah. Seven of Pentacles. So I feel like if they did, if they did go to the pawn shop, they got some money for it. <laughs> okay, yeah. For something here, for something here, some type of way. <laughs> Cause this one right here, it's the Eight of Cups. But if you look at the picture, like they're toasting, like they made a deal or something like that right here. I feel like with the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like. It's harvest time. Somebody actually was able to pawn it. I'm not sure where I'm getting at. That's what I'm getting here. What else is going on here, please? <laughs> Financial material changes, okay? Ten of Cups. Yeah, I feel like somebody's happy about the whole situation in the end because somebody was able to do that, okay? So if that's not a pawn shop, I'm not sure where I'm getting at, but that's what I'm getting here, okay? Okay, what's the concern card? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? Yeah, the Fool. And the High Priestess. And the Empress is down here. Okay. So, okay. So, I'm getting like, that's unexpected to somebody here. Does somebody know they pawned something or something? Could be a mother. Okay. Could be a Taurus or Libra. Something like that here. Okay. If you're doing some type of prayer for, for something here for finances, get back to it for some people here too. Okay, because the Eight of Cups could be walking away emotionally from something. So maybe you do need to go back to it for some people. All right, that's one thing I'm getting. If you're just praying about something right here or um, manifesting something, you know, we could easily stray away. Okay, get back to something right here. I kind of feel right here. Yeah, the Fool card and the High Priest is right here. Could be an Aries. Maybe something here is about an Aries. Okay, okay. Or a Mother right here, a Taurus or a Libra right here. I, and then now I'm just hearing somebody say, Mommy, it's a little kid. <laughs> like, Mommy, right here, this one. Mommy something, okay? 
Somebody said mommy. I hear them clear. Okay, what else? The little kid said mommy. Okay, what's the concern code on you? Nine of swords. Yes, I'm not having anxiety. The star. So I feel like you're giving this child right here reassurance, okay, that something is okay or that's going to be okay in some way right here, okay, that's what I kind of feel here. Nine of Swords, see how the Nine of Swords look in this deck? It's like standing there firm in that conviction. So I kind of feel like something's okay with a star card, something is wish fulfillment in some way here. So, all right, so I feel like somebody is giving somebody like confidence, reassurance that it's okay. It could be a mommy or something like that, okay? Um... I don't know why I'm getting this message right here. Okay, I'm getting like a pawn shop, and then somebody over here saying mommy. Okay, so you know that's what I'm getting. Okay, yeah, because I'm getting right here like these two. It's like I'm gonna fight any type of adversity. So whatever adversity could be, okay, I feel like somebody here is gonna get through this. So whatever it's about here, I feel. Okay, so positive moving forward. Now this one right here is the Eight of Cups. Okay, is it? No, it's the Eight of Pentacles. Sorry, but it's the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is consistent, it's dedication, it's focus, it's mastering something. Okay, a gift right here. Okay. So for some of you right here, I feel like with all right, with daily prayer or daily um devotion, something here is gonna go into your favor. Okay. I feel like this message is reassurance, okay, that it's, it's going to go into your favor or the child's favor or Somebody's favor. Okay. What's the positive movement forward? It's a really different kind of message right here. Okay. Positive movement forward right here. Judgment. Okay. So yeah, I feel like right here that um the judgment right here is about positive review. And it's also an angel right here blowing a horn. Okay. I feel like this is reassuring you or to, to them or somebody here. Okay. That something here is going to move forward with some gift or that you were trying to manifest. Yeah, you will be successful, the sun. Okay, so something here you'll be successful about, I feel, okay? Um, yeah, because I feel like with daily prayer or something like that, you could be successful with something right here, I feel, for some people right here, okay? Um, yeah, because something here is fair and just now for you or something like that, I feel. You know, it could be a leap right here. But something here is fair, is just, and everything right here now. So I feel like... You know, something here is going to go into your favor. This even could be a legal situation with the justice card right here and the judgment. Maybe something here is karma. It's going to your favor, I feel. You know, so it's double karma. It's going to go into your favor some way, okay? Um, with the sun card, something here will be successful. It could be a Leo, okay? Or a Libra. They're going to be successful. I'm getting right here some type of way. Okay? What's the, what's the gift card? Get three of swords. Hmm. Okay, the power point. So three of swords right there, and then the power point right there. Could be a torch right here. Okay, gift. So I feel like that God, the universe, wipes away your tears. Wow, or you just child's tears, or whoever's saying mommy, something like that. Um. Does that kind of feel? Because the Howard Font could be like tradition or religion, something like that. Okay, or the most high or something. I feel right here, Three of Swords is like the universe or God right here wipes away your tears, your heartbreak. So with some gift. Okay. Okay, three, no, let me see now. Three of Wands Reverse and a Five of Pentacles right here. Yeah, it's like... Even if you don't see some type of way for something here to happen, okay, I feel like something here is happening. It's going to your favor. I'm getting okay. A Leo, a, um, a Leo, a Libra, a Taurus. Okay, it's going to your favor. Okay, a Aries over here, a Aquarius, and a Leo. Get right here. Okay, what else is going on here? For the spirit, holy angels. Yeah, so that's what I see right here. Okay, ten of Pentacles right here. Some money right here. The Devil card right here. And a page of swords, okay. Yes, yeah, so I feel like that you have to raise your vibration for some people here. 
Okay, right with the devil card showing up. Okay, because see the devil eyes are scratched out. They can't even see something right here. Okay, so I feel like you have to raise your vibration right now. Stay positive about something right here. Definitely about money right now. Next 24, 48 hours, I want you to really raise your vibration financially here for somebody here. Okay, and know that the universe is going to make something here be okay. Some type of way. Okay, you may get a gift for some people right here. Okay. Okay, I feel like the universe or God or whatever you look at is the most highest energy. You know what I mean? Uh, whatever deity that is, okay? I feel right now that they're going to make a way for you. They're going to wipe some tear away. Some people are here. This is about money, definitely. Ten of Pentacles right there in the page of swords. It's about money for some people right here. Okay. So I'm getting like the universe is going to wipe your tears away. Okay, crown chakra right here and a message. I feel like somebody here is highly intuitive. They could be a psychic, right? Or you're getting um, a downloads right now about something, I feel. There's something here is karma or it's double karma. I'm getting right here with a Leo and a Libra, okay? What's it, sh sh uh, crown chakra? What is the crown chakra right here, please? What is the crown chakra right here, please? Four swords and a nine of pentacles reverse. So for some of you, a relationship could be the case. Nine of Pentacles reverse could be a relationship for some people here. All right, Nine of Pentacles reverse also could be um, maybe you are not going to do something alone, or maybe somebody's not alone. Let's pull a card. What's the Nine of Pentacles reverse? Okay. Nine of Pentacles right here reverse. Okay. King of Cups right here. Water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Knight of Cups. Ten of Wands. Six of Swords. So even though something here is, is set to go into your favor, I, I'm feeling like with the Devil card up here. And um, this Ten of Wands, like, it's still heavy on you or something like that. Somebody right here. Ten of Wands. It's still like a burden or a struggle for you. I feel like that you really, should, you really would benefit right now. From listening to like guided meditations, I feel like that um you need to raise your vibration, okay? You really need to high vibes only, okay? When it comes down to money or you know something here that the universe has for you, something here is, is your favor, it's going to your favor, okay? It's going to go to your favor, okay? As you move forward, it is, I feel. Okay, for some of you right here, it's a relationship right here. Okay, because now a cups right here is a relationship right here. All right, it could be some proposal that's had here to go into your favor. I feel like you're contemplating about it, but you're worried about it. Or with the devil, it could tell us all the reasons why we can't or something like that. You know? So I just feel like raise your vibration right here. Get a world card. Some cycle right here is beginning for you, I feel. You know, some cycle has completed. And some heavy burden is being lifted from you. Okay? I just feel like the Ten of Wands, you like, it's too hard or you don't believe it or, you know, or how could something, whatever. It's, you know, that's what we have to have faith. We have to believe. We have to trust in God. You know? Because we don't always know how something's going to happen. Okay? It doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Right here, I'm saying it's going to happen. It's going to your favor right now. Some people right here. Okay? So that's what I'm saying right now. All right. What's the message card right here? So, I feel like somebody's praying or something. Help me. Okay. Eight of Wands reverse, two of Swords, and a Magician card right here. Okay, Magician. So, I feel like some of you, this message is going right over your head for some people here. So, I kind of feel. Because Magician right here is like consciously aware or being able to manifest something right here, okay? And a message is coming to you, right? That you're able to manifest something here or some way. I feel like with Eight of Wands reverse, that um, I feel like you're not taking it in. Two of Swords as well. I'm not taking in, you know, what being said here. This even could be your intuition. Maybe your intuition is giving you information, okay? It could be the case here, all right? You still is doubting it or something like that, I feel. I don't know if somebody here is retracting themselves and they just staying away. Eight of Wands reverse. It also could be somebody's not talking. They're not communicating. 
maybe it's a good time to, you know, if you need some time alone, you know, aloof or whatever, to think about something. But I would not spend too much time alone because I feel like right here, the devil card here, right? And the three of swords and all, that could take us to some deep um, thoughts right here about how, you know, you know, it's it's up to you at the end of the day if you believe in the supernatural energy or God, the universe, or being able to manifest something right here that I feel like you're able to manifest, but you know, I feel like that you feel like it's hard or something, or you know, the supernatural God could do anything. You know, they could do anything. They could make anything happen here. Okay. As long as you have faith and trust, believe, you know, it's going to work out or something like that. Like it's working out, I feel. Okay, I just feel like you have to raise your vibration. Yeah. King of Wands. Could be a fire sign here. An Aries and Leo Sagittarius, okay? So, you know, you're the King of Wands. Somebody that's a leader, somebody that's motivated. I mean, come on now, right now. So, you got this. Universe, the universe where you're back. I'm getting my hand, okay? Just content man, boredom for a cup. This is a missed opportunity. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like somebody here, you know, all right. The, the journey card right here. It's even like somebody here don't want to travel or they're missing this or they don't believe this or something like that. What's the, what's the discontent man, boredom? Or I don't really want this. That could be the case too. That could be the case as well here. So maybe the universe is blessing you with something right now. You don't want it. I mean, hey, it's too hard if you don't want it. If you don't want it, then the world card, some cycles complete right here then. You know, because, you know, some things only come once in a lifetime. You don't want it here. The universe is going to see that right now. You don't want it, I feel. What's the discontentment and boredom? What's the kind of feel right here? Okay, yeah, Ace of Wands right here. Your ace of wands is action. It's like action oriented. And the four cups is like, I'm not even passionate about it or I don't want to. Or even maybe somebody else is. Okay, it could be the case. Maybe somebody else is, you know, they're they're um, not passionate about something. Maybe you're feeling that or whatever. Okay, you have five of cups right here. Okay, five of cups right here is a card of regrets, grief, and sorrow right here. And the Queen of Cups could be definitely a water sign. Okay, if something here's a missed opportunity with a water sign. Okay, and with the Queen of Cups, maybe somebody's emotional. You know, I'm getting like this water sign energy. Yeah, they, they're going to pick up, I feel. If somebody here is, you know, lacking a motivation or missing something in some way, I feel. Okay. The Ten of Swords right here, the King of Pentacles. So this is insight right here. It's the end of a difficult time right here. Okay. Um, in some way. Okay. It could be a journey. Maybe some of you are going to be traveling. Okay. Or maybe you have insight right now about travel or somebody's at a distance. Could be a lover with the Queen of Cups. Doesn't have to be, but it could be. What's the journey card right here? Three of Seven of Swords. Okay. Six of Wands and a Knight of Wands. <sighs> so I feel like something here is victorious, it's successful right here. Could have to do with travel for some people right here, some journey. Okay. Now, the Knight of Wands right here and the Seven of Swords, I feel like there could be some more going on here for some people here. Seven of Swords right here, Knight of Wands. Ace of Pentacles is reversed right here. Temperance card right here. I don't know, but I'm getting over here. That if some if something more is going on, I feel like somebody is picking up on that. If it is. I feel like they really feel like something is going on in some way. So I feel because Seven of Swords could be a card about cheating and lying right here. So I'm not sure if somebody did something impulsively here. Um, or if somebody's lusting. Right? Or somebody wants you to have patience for something. And then the Ace of Pentacles is reversed. It's like 
somebody's missing it. They're going to lose something here, I feel, in some way. Because I do feel like that. I feel like four cups is a missed opportunity. If somebody's missing something right here, it's a type of way. Somebody could feel it, I feel. So for some of you right here, some the universe is busting with you something. But I feel like you don't believe in it. Or for some people here. Or you don't believe that the universe can do this. And I feel like they are doing this for you, for some people here. All right. And then others right here, I feel like the universe is busting you with something. But you don't want it for some people here. That's not who it could be. And then over here, somebody could be concerned that you know that they, they, they don't want something or um something like that, okay? Okay, yeah, so the moon card is reversed right here and a two of wands. So... It's like somebody's coming out of some illusion right now. Next 24, 48 hours. Something here, I feel like it's going to hit the fan right here. If somebody is going to realize the universe really is going to bless you, they're going to make it clear. I feel like something here is going to be grounding you. You'll see it in the physical that the universe is blessing you with something right here. Okay, so that will be seen clear, I feel, for some people right here. All right, if somebody here don't want something, whatever's about in any kind of way here, I feel like the universe sees that right now. That's very clear. That you don't, you know, you're not interested in whatever this is about, okay? So that also is the case here. Because the moon card reverse is coming out of illusion, you know? And a two of wands in reverse, that's the clarity. So big time clarity is coming right here, right? If something here is illusion or not, I get a sense. If the universe is going to bless you with this or not, okay? If you're interested in this or not, okay? So that's what's happening, okay? Next 24 to 48 hours or so, okay? Thank you so much for taking a look here. Okay, I send you all peace, blessings, of course, love and light. Namaste to you.